Revelations directed the Latter-day Saints to establish in Missouri a community that would be called Zion. Many of their neighbors in Missouri objected, and there were violent confrontations. Joseph Smith's assignments to write their history resulted in a number of accounts found in Histories Volume 2 that provide insights on what became known as the Missouri-Mormon War in 1838. After an extended siege of the Latter-day Saints settlement of DeWitt, Carroll County, and the expulsion of the Saints, anti-Mormon forces moved north toward the Latter-day Saints settlements in Davis County. Joseph Smith called for a preemptive strike against what were believed to be centers of anti-Mormon mobs in that county. The notion that the Mormons had become aggressors was a key development in the overall Missouri conflict and led to the extermination order that was issued by Governor Lilburn Boggs. The bloody massacre of Latter-day Saints at Hans Mill in Caldwell County has shaped the vivid memory of persecution of the Latter-day Saints to this day. In his narrative that appears in this volume, Sidney Rigdon used two first-hand accounts from survivors. One was from David Lewis, the other from Brigham Young's brother, Joseph Young, and his wife, Jane. Rigdon had access to another account that was even more heart-wrenching, that of Amanda Smith, whose husband and son were brutally killed in the massacre. But apparently, Rigdon chose to avoid overplaying the emotional impact in his account, which was written as an appeal for redress. To what extent did he and Latter-day Saints take the initiative in this action, and to what extent did they follow suggestions or even orders from General Alexander Donovan and General Hiram Parks of the Missouri Militia? This volume presents different perspectives on how the raid was initiated and carried out.